a very good day to all of you computer shiksha is supported by i expect and hope that you all remember all that has been taught to you till now as you all know on the first day of the class you learn something new and on the following day you practice what you had learned so today you will all revise what you learned earlier but will also learn something new till now whatever you have learned in impress is a very important part of impress which can be very useful in the future for your office work and the same will help you a lot so before we begin today's class let us revise what we have learned earlier can you tell which shortcut command you will need to use for slide show for the slide show you will use the shortcut command f5 can you say what happens with the sidebar also can you tell how to hide this using the sidebar you can show or hide the side layout in order to hide this you need to first click on the view menu and then select the sidebar option which you will use to hide the side layout can you tell what you need to do to get the impress view to normal view if it has got changed to change the slide view back to the normal view click on the view menu and then select the normal option this will bring back your file to the normal view can you tell why we use the fields of the edit menu with the use of the fields option of the edit menu you can edit the fields option meaning that you can change the format of the fields power on your computers and open your impress file let us know what you will learn in today's class you will all be revising what you learned in the earlier class can you tell what all you had learned in the previous class in the previous class you have learned a lot about the view menu and edit menus next all of you insert four slides and in the first slide type out the paragraph being shown to you in the second slide use the font work gallery to show your name in a style of your choice if you face a problem watch the video and learn from it with the help of this video we are now going to once again practice the use of font work gallery to write our name or any other word and format it also so in this we have the first slide where a paragraph is written to insert new slides go to the slide pane right click and choose new slide since we want three new slides we have created three new slides here by doing the same process again now select the second slide and we want a blank layout so click on the blank layout and this slide becomes blank we want to use the font work gallery so from the drawing toolbar go to the icon which has a a written in it and click on that that is for font work gallery as soon as you click you see different types of font works in this gallery you can scroll up and down and choose the one select the one which you like we select one of these click on that click on okay and you will see font work written in this style that you have chosen now with the use of the blue dots that are shown on the font work you can increase or decrease the size now double click on it and you will see font work written 
in a line. Use the keyboard and the backspace key to remove this. And then you can type any word of your choice or your name or whatever it is that you want to create in this slide. So we are typing, as is being shown in the video, the word computer shiksha. After have typing this word in this line here, if we click on the outside area of the slide, the word computer shiksha appears in the style of our choosing. Now, if we select this, you will see a small menu bar for font works appears. Just on the top of the first slide, you can see in the slide pane. If you click on this, you will see different font works available. If you click on the A icon, you can see different styles. And whichever style you click on, your word or name gets written in that particular style. Once again, go to the A icon and you can choose a different style. And that gets applied on your slide itself, on the word that you have written. There are also other options here for alignment, left align, center, right align. So you can align your image on the slide as per your choice. Another one is for the space between the characters. You want to keep it very tight, you want to keep it loose, or you want to keep it normal. You can define that from here. Have spaces in between. So this is how you can use Fontwork Gallery. Can you say in how many ways you can see the slide views and what are these called? You can see the slide views in five different ways. These are called normal, outline, handout, slide sorter, and notes views. Go ahead and show how you will change the view of the slides and then also show how you will change it back to normal view. If you still have some doubts in doing this, then watch the video. We will now watch this video to see how we can see our slides in different views. So this is the normal view and the slide in the impress file are being shown in the slide normal view. If you click on the next option which is outline, you will only see the text part of the slide. So the only the outline of the slide appears. If you have any pictures or any other images inserted, those are not shown. If you click on the second slide, you see that the font work computer shiksha is not visible. Now click on the next option, which is the notes view. In the notes view, it helps you for presentations. You see the slide on top and at the bottom area, you can type in some notes related to this slide, which can help you while you are giving a presentation. So in each slide, you can add notes for that particular slide. Next option is handout. If you click on handout, this is how it will appear. Here you have the option now to write a header. You can write date, you can write a footer in the handout view. So here, for instance, we are writing a header as computer shiksha. And in the date also, we are writing the date just for practice. So you can use the handout view like this to write a header, the date, footer. You can write the slide number as is being shown in the video. So we are writing 02 here for the slide number. If you want to see it in the larger view, you will use the F5 shortcut command to see the slide view. And you can see all your slides. When you press escape, you come back to the view that you were in. Next option is slide sorter. 
in this you see all the slides of your impress file in one go you can see there were four slides in this file so you can see these as in the slide sorter view if you want to go back to the normal view click on normal and this will bring you back to the normal view so this way you can view your slides in different views normal outline notes handout and slide sorter now all of you work on the slides that you have inserted and have some pictures on them to write some comments on them if you face a problem then watch the video to learn how you can give comments let us now watch this video and see how we can use the comments or apply comments on our slide in the impress file so we first select the second slide here where we want to apply a comment then we need to click since we have to insert a comment we use the insert menu from the menu bar click on that and choose the comments option you can also use the shortcut command control alt c to use or apply the comment once we click on this option you will see that a box opens in the slide a small box where it says cs1 which is an indicator that a comment has been applied and a larger box where you can actually type the comment so in this we can type anything that we want for instance in this video we are typing impress class 6 and we can also write something like slide number 2 now if we click on the slide after having typed this this comment box the big comment box gets hidden but that small box where it says cs1 which means that a comment has been applied is being shown on the slide if you want to hide even the small box you can go to the view menu and then click on comments and you will notice that the comment box even the small icon that was appearing gets hidden if you want you can bring it back by going back to the view menu and clicking on comment option again as is being shown in the video the small box appears the small icon and if you click on that icon which says cs1 you can see the comment also since we want to hide it we don't want to see it in our presentation we will once again go to the view menu click on comment and it will get hidden so this is how you will use the comments option to write a comment for your slide and also to hide or unhide or show the comment on your slide do you know which option you will need to use to see the pictures that you have inserted on your slides or to go from one slide to another you will use the navigator option to see the pictures that you have inserted on your slides and the navigator will also help you to move from one slide to another in your impress file go ahead and show how you will use the navigator option if you face a problem then watch the video about this watch this video now to practice once again the use of the navigator to go or to move from one slide to the other slide in your impress impress file and also to see the shapes so click on view menu and click on the navigator option and you can see that it shows you slide as as many slides as are there in the navigator box since we had selected slide number 2 it is highlighting slide number 2 there are options to move on top so if you click on next slide it will show you the next slide similarly if you click on previous slide button it will take you to the previous slide you also have buttons for going to the last slide as is being shown in the video and also to go to the first slide you can click on this icon for getting to the first slide besides this 
in this bar you have all shapes you click on all shapes and you can see which slide has how many shapes in slide one since it's a title slide the title and the text are taken to be two shapes so it shows you two shapes if you click on slide two it will show you that there is one shape in this slide similarly slide three and four are title slides so it shows two shapes in this so this is how you can use the navigator option to see and to move from one slide to the other slide in your impress file and also to see the various shapes which are existing in your slides or in your presentation now bring back the comments that you had hidden and also show how you will type computer shiksha as an additional comment in doing this if you have a problem then watch the video by watching this video we are going to see once again how we can unhide or show the comment that we had hidden earlier for doing this you have to take your pointer to the view menu in the menu bar click on that and click on the comment option as soon as you click there and you go through your slides you will see that on your second slide there is this small icon which shows that there is a comment on this if you click on this small icon the comment box itself will open and you can type anything of your cho choice like if you want you can type computer shiksha in this this is how you will use the comments option next all of you go ahead and show how you will use the all the options of the master slide if you have doubts see the video let us watch this video and see how we can use the master slide options with the master slide you can change all your slides in one go by changing on the master slide to make use of the master slide you need to first Take your pointer or the cursor to the view menu and from there select the master option master option you can see in this there are three options slide master normal master and master elements so click on the slide master and you will see a master slide opening up in here you can select the title and then format that change the format on this title and the same format which you change now here will get applied to your slides so let's see that by doing it we select the title first then we change this format we can first change the fonts type so we click on the drop down button in the font type and select one of the types that we like next let's also change the color of this font we can go here click on the drop down button and choose a color of our choice by clicking so you can see that the font size the color has been changed Next, next for the contents also we have selected these three lines and we are going to change the format we are going to change the color of this format of the font of this content if you want to change more or change the format for these this content more than this select it once again let's make it bold also and if you like to underline this let's also select the underline option so you can see that this has got applied if you want to remove the bullets you can click on bullets if you want to apply the bullets again you can select the content again and then click on the bullets icon uh, option again so that the bullets will appear if you want to for change the format for the other lines also in the content 
you can select those as is being shown in the video we are selecting the other content and we are just changing the font color also for this content you can see that the font color for this has also been changed now if you want to add a footer or something else go to the view menu go to master and select the master elements option a box opens select the ones which you want date and time and footer click on ok and you can now see that there is a space for date and time and for footer also so click on the date and time area and you can type in the date which will get applied to your master slide which means that it gets applied to all your slides similarly go to the footer area click there and delete the word footer and write in a footer of your choice for instance we are writing here impress class 6 now if you close the master view which is right on top here there is a button close master view click on that and you can see that on your first slide the change that you made in the title have been applied it's in the same font and the same color if you want to see the change it's the footer and the date is also there on all these slides if you also want to see the change in the content go to the layout and select the content slide text content and you can see that the content has also got changed into the format that you had applied in the content again if you look at layout and choose different layouts you will see that both the title and the content keeps getting the format that you had applied in the master slide so this way you can use the master slide to change the title to change the content format it and the same format gets applied to your slides in your impress impress presentation next show how you will hide the sidebar if you have a doubt take the help of this video to do so let us watch in this video how we can hide or unhide or show the sidebar there are two ways that we can do this the first way is to use the view menu of the menu bar click on the view menu and click on the option for sidebar right now it was selected so the sidebar was being shown when you click on the sidebar option it gets unselected and the sidebar is no longer seen or it gets hidden you can also bring it back by once again going to the view menu and clicking on the sidebar option the layouts panes will appear once again or the sidebar will get shown you can also hide or unhide it from the buttons which are here just on the right side of the slide click here on the buttons and the sidebar gets hidden and then click on the buttons again here as is being shown in the video and the sidebar gets shown so this is how you can hide or unhide the sidebar next use the toolbar to hide the drawing bar line and filling and the standard toolbar watch the video to clear any doubts that you may have in this video we are going to see how we can use the view menu to hide the toolbars the drawing toolbar the standard toolbar and the line and filling toolbar to do so go to the view menu click on that and then click on the toolbars option when you click on the toolbars option you can see that the toolbars which are selected which have the tick mark sign are being shown so if you click on the line and filling toolbar or the drawing toolbar it gets unselected and you can see there is no longer the drawing and toolbar is not shown now once again go to the view menu go to toolbars and this time let's unselect the line and filling toolbar so as soon as we unselect it you can see 
that the line and filling toolbar also gets hidden. Similarly, if you want to hide the standard toolbar, click on the view menu. Once again, go to the toolbars option and unselect the standard toolbar option. So you can see that all these three toolbars have got hidden. This is how you can use the view menu to hide them. The standard toolbar, the drawing toolbar and the line and filling toolbar has been hidden. Next, show the drawing bar, line and filling and the standard toolbar that you had earlier hidden. Watch the video for any help that you may need. In this video, let us now see how we can use the view menu to show the toolbars that we had hidden. So we want to show the drawing toolbar, the line and filling toolbar and the standard toolbar. Take your pointer to the view menu, click there, click on the toolbars option and then first let's click on the drawing toolbar to select the drawing toolbar. As soon as you click there, you can see on your impress file, the drawing toolbar appears just below the slide, which had earlier got hidden. Go back once again to the view menu. Click, click on the view menu, click on the toolbars option. And now this time, let's click or select the line and filling toolbar. You can see it has not been shown, but if you bring your pointer here and move it a little bit, the line and filling toolbar gets shown. Next, let's take, we have to show the standard toolbar also. Go to the view menu, select the toolbars, and then now select the standard toolbar option. Again, this is not being shown. Just take your cursor to these dots here and move it a little bit. Both these options, the line and filling toolbar and the standard toolbar get shown. So this is how we can use the view menu to show the toolbars which we had hidden earlier. The drawing toolbar, the line and filling toolbar and the standard toolbar. Now, all of you go ahead and with the help of the drawing toolbar, make two drawings and then using the glue point show how you will join them together should you face any problems in doing this watch and learn from the video with this video let us now practice the use of joining two images in a slide using glue points so let's first get a blank slide in our file impress file now we have to insert couple of shapes. So let's go to the drawing toolbar. We have selected the rectangle tool and we have dragged a box or a square or a rectangle here. And we select the smileys from the toolbar, drawing toolbar and drag a smiley here like this. Now we have to join these two with glue points. So we select this image first, go to the view edit menu and then select the glue points. You can see a small menu bar appearing for glue points. Click on insert glue point because we have to insert a glue point in our first image. So we click on it inside it and the glue point gets inserted. Go to the second image for which is a smiley and insert another glue point after selecting that image. Now to join these two glue points, we need to use a connector from the drawing toolbar. We select the connector option in the drawing toolbar and starting from the first glue point to the second glue point in the second image, we can make a connector like this. So now these two images have been connected using glue points and a connector as has been shown in this video. So this is how we can use glue points and connectors to connect two images of a slide in our impress file. 
Now use the line tool to make any drawings which uses the point option. If you face a problem in this, watch the video to learn more about the use of the point option. By watching this video now, we will see how we can use the line tool and the point option to draw a line and then change it to a different image altogether. So to use the line tool and the points, let's first take a new slide. Click on the slide pane, right click on it and then choose the new slide. We have a blank slide and let's use the line tool from the drawing toolbar to make a line here. So we select the line tool and then drag a line as is being shown in the video like this. Now we need to add points on it using the points. So we go to the Mino bar, select the edit Mino and click on the points. A small Mino bar for points appears. Choose insert points and then click here on the line to add a couple of points. As is being shown, we have added two points here. Now we can move these points like this. We have moved the first point. We have actually used the eliminate points option and we have moved the second point also like this or we can take it upwards and we can move this last part of the line like this to form a triangle. So beginning with a line and using points, we have changed the first image into a triangle image. This is how you can use points and a line to do this. We end today's class here. So close your impress file and properly shut down your computer. In today's class, all of you revise the options of the edit and view menu. These options were glue points, points, comments, master slide, etc. for which you also practice using the same. Computer Shiksha is supported by. Thank you.